Greetings, K9 Chris. It is Friday, and I am like the ever ready bunny. I'm freaking energizer bunny, ever ready bunny, energizer bunny. I'm bouncing all over the place. <sighs> Great morning so far at, at work. Ninety. 5% of the contractors have their 24 decals and most of the contractors have passes up to the 30th some of them got to the 23rd so so if they come back Monday then I'll send them to the office but other than that it's been a really 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 eh, cloudy dreary day it said rain today but it said thunderstorms today and then it said oh S slight chance <laughs> of participation um, of rain. So I'm like, okay. So it, it says it's going to rain tomorrow, so I don't know. I don't know. It, it may rain today. It may not. I don't know. I have my rain gear. I'm good. And I'm going to the gym after work. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do from now on. Go home. Get out of my monkey suit. Put on my gym clothes and head to the gym for about 30 minutes a day. And that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. Because at 2.30 in the morning, is not cutting it. And that gives me an extra hour of sleep. So instead of waking up at 2.30, I can wake up at 3.30. So I just, what I do is before the night's done, I get all my uniform ready and everything. My boots ready and all that good stuff. And then, so when I'm done with the gym, I just... Hop into the shower, get out, put on my work clothes, back on my monkey suit, and head out the door. So, as long as I'm out the door by 4.10, I can get here on time. It only takes like 47 to 48 minutes, depending on traffic, going towards Eglin, Air Force Base. And then if I go the other way, from 90 to I-10 and then 331, it, it adds a few minutes to it, so. But usually, it takes me an hour and four minutes to get, when I leave work for the end of the day, it takes an hour and four minutes going to 331 Bridge. But I avoid the Sun Pass, which I owe a ton of money, which I need to pay off. I gotta get that paid off soon. But other than that, I try to avoid the tolls as much as I can. But it's 59 miles from where I'm sitting right now to my house. It's 59 miles. Now, it's 48 miles if I go the other way. The problem is this. Even though it's 48 miles going west on I-10, you're dealing with tons of traffic lights and tourism drivers. So I get home later going 48 miles i get home sooner going 59 miles i i it, the math is just like mind-boggling i'm like what you know so but there's lesser traffic lights going the other way so more highway so to speak but yeah so you know everything's great you know um i did have dunkin donuts yesterday so um which i could have once in a while I had some Boston creams and, and, and I had a uh, coffee, uh, awesome iced coffee. <sighs> Needed that yesterday. But, um, but yeah, so just, it's, it's been a great, you know, great day so far. And uh, I got 18 minutes until it's over. And then I go in for my second half of the shift, which is going to be awesome. Just one hour at a time. And that's all you can do is take it one hour at a time. Take it half an hour at a time. Take it a minute. You know, I just take it one hour at a time. You know, and because uh, when it gets to 12.15, I only have an hour left. I'm like, all right, cool. Hey, Nutty. My squirrel is running around. I have one squirrel that I named Nutty. And she is all over the place. So she hasn't crossed the road yet. Wish she will down the road. And then I want to see if I can take some video of the they they got like uh, deer on the highway on 85 they have like like masses of deer and i i just pray that they don't jump 
in front of the roadway. But they're all grazing. And they do it like wee hours in the morning. So I want to see if I can get a video of that. That would be pretty cool. But other than that, just hanging in there, you know, just hanging in there. You, know, you just got to stay positive, you know what I mean? I mean, we have some issues at home right now that we're dealing with. No, I mean, I mean, maintenance-wise that we're dealing with today. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get it all taken care of and get it fixed and we can move on. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's very stressful. It's it's very stressful, you know. It's stressing my wife out, pretty much, and Leanne, you know, because we have three kids that are doing homeschooling, you know, so and everything else. So, but other than that, hopefully everything flies by and we'll be good to go. All right, well, let me get out of here so I can enjoy the rest of my break. Can I, Chris? Out, peace. Love y'all. All right, bye.